News that hit teen comedy drama Never Have I Ever will be returning for season 3 dropped recently to the delight of fans everywhere. Loosely based on the teenage years of The Office star Mindy Kaling, the show tackles issues familiar to teenagers around the world. Love, sex, relationships, school, and family life. Today we're looking at whether the third season will be delayed and questions fans want answered in season three. Stay tuned. First up, what do we know about a potential delay? As we reported this week in another video, which you should check out after this one, the main cast of the show are reportedly seeking massive pay increases, with star of the show, My Trehi Ramakrishnan looking for parody and pay for her on-screen mum, Purna Jagannathan. The more experienced actress reportedly earns $150,000 per episode, which Matrehi is looking for as well, being the star of the show. The rest of the cast are also looking for a bump in pay before the third season starts shooting. It's been reported that none of the cast has yet settled on new pay deals, so this could be a sticking point when it comes to filming the new season. Due to the success of the show, it could be argued that the cast are due to an increase in pay, but what some of them are asking for, Ramakrishnan and Barnett in particular, is eye-watering. It wouldn't really come as a surprise if the show is delayed or even canceled due to these increased wage demands. Darren Barnett, who plays Paxton, is also looking for a similar increase as Ramakrishnan. What do you think of the reports of a delay? Do you think the cast deserves such a huge pay rise? Let us know below. So what questions do we want answered in the new season? First, will Debbie and Paxton stay together? Devi and Paxton have been on, off throughout both seasons of Never Have I Ever. The man-child, played by 30-year-old Barnett, is popular at Sherman Oaks and seemingly has an interest in Devi, matching her own interest. In the last season, we saw them progress from enemies to study buddies and back to love interests again. Like all good guys everywhere, Paxton had reservations as to what dating Devi would do to his image, which kind of echoes his personality in real life. Barnett recently revealed how tough his school years were due to how how handsome he was. Vom, it'll be interesting to see how their relationship holds up this season, especially with Ben still sniffing around. Next up, what about Paxton's college dreams? So we learned that Paxton would not be able to swim due to his broken arm, which could have a knock-on effect on his scholarship and overall college dreams. With the revelation that he might not in fact be able to attend his college of choice, he decides to actually make an effort in school. Wow, Paxton, that's mighty good of you. He does manage to raise his GPA and also seems to begin enjoying school, but will this be enough to get him to college? We'll have to wait and watch the upcoming season. Can you tell Paxton isn't our favorite character? Tell us who yours is below. And what about people calling Debbie crazy? Will that continue into season three? Let's see. Like many a teenager the world over, Debbie has her moments and often lets her feelings dictate her behavior, which can make her seem a little unhinged. And for this reason, she is nicknamed Crazy Debbie by the kids in her school. To be fair, some of her behavior does often fall on the crazier side of sane, so the nickname isn't completely unwarranted. Fans have noted that the nickname could be hurtful, but we're here to remind them that the show is not a true story and it's a complete work of fiction, so nobody's feelings are really getting hurt here. Also, the nickname was started by Paxton, who, as we've already discussed, is a character with little substance. Don't worry about it, devs. We also want to know what's up with Kamala's love life. Kamala's professional life and personal life couldn't be further apart. Whilst at work, she's driven and obviously smart. It's her personal life that is the worry for her. Throughout season two, she was courting Prashnant, with the pair getting to know each other. But a red flag was raised when he made some sexist comments, alerting Kamala to the fact that he might not be the man of her dreams after all. Kamala ended up running out of her engagement dinner with Prashnant after hitting it off with Kulkarni. So we will have to wait and see what it is in store for her. Who do you think she would be best suited to? Let us know below. How about Ben and Anissa? Stay with us while we discuss. Ben, who is one of Debbie's potential suitors throughout the first two seasons, makes a beeline for the new girl Anissa in season two, and it's not long before the pair hit it off romantically. We know Ben has feelings for Debbie, but will these feelings get in the way of any budding romance between him and Anissa? They are also polar opposites when it comes to academics too, so that might be something that becomes a problem. But as they say, opposites attract, so it'll be interesting 
to see where this one goes. What are your predictions? Let's talk Eleanor and Trent next. Stay with us. We saw Eleanor Ben Malcolm in season two, and rightly so. Being the tool that he was, Debbie's friend is then asked to dance by Trent, Paxton's friend, to her surprise. These two might have a bit more in common than you actually think. They have Debbie and Paxton in common for a start and are both loyal to a fault. Fans will want to know if this is a relationship that'll develop in season three or whether it will just be a filler story for season two. We think this would be a pretty good match in fairness and would like to see this storyline run a little more. Next, we want to know if Fabiola is running for team captain of the Robotics Club again. As we know, Fabiola wasn't a top-tier character in the first season, but she finally flourished in season two after being written into it a lot more. Although she was much more prominent, we don't think her character would have wanted to have spent so much time with Eve. Obviously, the decision to run for Cricket Queen at the dance meant she had to devote less time to the robotics team. Hence, the decision by the team to remove her as the captain. We think this realization might have given her a well-needed wake-up call, as she is a true robotics geek at heart, which we love. Hopefully she returns to the team with vigor next season. Do you see her as captain material again? Who will be the next, or first, to get their own episode focus in season three? Focusing on one character per episode is not a new idea when it comes to TV shows, and Never Have I Ever uses it no differently to other shows, but a lot sparser. It's a great way to delve into the characters, maybe exploring their backstory, their motivations, and whatever else the director needs to explain to the audience. In each of the previous seasons, we have seen one character per season star for one episode. Paxton was the chosen one this term. As fans now know how the series operates, there have been some speculation as to who will get their own episode next season. Who do you think is deserving? Maybe Kamala, who seems to have a lot on her plate at the moment, or will it be Ben, who has a lot going on himself? Which brings us nicely on to Ben. Stay tuned. Ben and Paxton have been in a constant duel for Debbie's affections and fans are definitely going to want to know if Ben is going to try and win her back. He's now in a relationship with Anissa as we know but the regularity with which the characters change their love interests means that this is not a sure thing to continue into season 3. We know in fact via Eleanor that Debbie was set to choose him over Paxton but her friends talked her out of it. As Eleanor revealed this directly to Ben we know he knows so will he use this information to win her back? What do you guys think? And finally what about Nalini? Lini and Debbie's relationship. As with most teenage daughter and mom relationships, the one between Debbie and her mom can be pretty strained at times. They've had good moments, but equally bad ones too. So it's going to be interesting to see what the writers have in store for their relationship in the next season. We saw them end on a good note in season two, which was nice to see, and we're sure fans will want that to carry on. We sure hope so too. What do you think the third season will have in store for Debbie and her mom? As always, thanks for tuning in today, guys, and remember to join us next time for some more fun. Also, why not share this video with fans of the show you may know? Bye, guys.